Hello and welcome to Elvis Creatives. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm glad to have you here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our great content. Today, I'll be walking you through the installation process of MATLAB 2024B. Let's dive right in. Step one, unzipping the downloaded file. Once you've downloaded the zipped file, right click on it and select Extract using WinRare or any other unzipping software you're comfortable with. If it asks for a password, go ahead and type in 123. This process is pretty simple, so no need to worry about any complications at this point. While this unzipping process runs, I'd like to mention that if you're also interested in installing Revit 2025, I've got a video that walks you through that process with no hassle. You can check it out here. And if you're facing any SolidWorks software errors, I've also created several videos covering how to troubleshoot those issues. Be sure to check one of my latest videos for that. Step two, preparing the installation. Once the file is unzipped, before mounting the ISO file, you'll see a folder that contains a README file. Go ahead and open that and then minimize it for now. We'll come back to it shortly. Next, right click on the ISO file and choose Mount. Then, scroll down until you find the setup file. Double click on it to start the installation process. Here, click on the Advanced Options, located in the top right corner of the window. Afterward, scroll down and select the option, I have a file installation key. Click Next to proceed. Step 4. Agreeing to Terms and Conditions. Now, at this point, you'll be prompted to read through the Terms and Conditions. I highly recommend that you take a moment to read and understand these before proceeding. Don't just check the box and move on. It's important to know what you're agreeing to. Once you're ready, check the box and click Next. Step 5. Entering the installation key. This is where we'll go back to the README file we minimized earlier. Open it up, copy the installation key provided, and paste it into the designated area in the installation window. Step 6. License file setup. 
You'll also need to point the installer to the license file. It's located in the folder where you initially extracted the zip file. Once you've chosen the path for the license file, click Next. Step 7. Choosing Installation Location Here, you can choose where to install MATLAB. If your PC has limited space, you might want to install it on a different drive. I'm going to choose Disk D and quickly create a folder there for the installation. After that, click Next. Step 8. Shortcut Options in this next window, you can choose whether to add a shortcut to your desktop. I suggest checking that option for easy access. There's also an option for an additional shortcut. You can uncheck if you don't need it. Once you're done, click Next. Step 9. Confirm and install. Now, confirm all your selections and start the installation process. This might take a while depending on your computer's performance. While you're waiting, why not take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already? It helps me out a lot, and you'll get more great content just like this. Step 10. Final Steps and DLL File Once the installation is complete, there's one last step. Go back to the README file and follow the instructions to copy the .dll file from the folder provided. You'll need to paste it into the correct directory as indicated in the instructions. Make sure to replace the existing file when prompted. Launching MATLAB. That's it. You can now launch MATLAB and start using it. Bonus, updating your license. If at any point you need to update your license, just click on Help in the top menu, then go to Licenses and select Update. Thanks for watching. If you run into any challenges during the installation or have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And remember to check out my other videos on Revit 2025 and SolidWorks troubleshooting. Until next time, Take care and catch you in the next video.